Hey, Chuck here with Apple Drains. Um, a lot of people ask us to do a follow-up um, on you know our work. So if you remember, I just installed a system out here for my friend in North Florida, and it just poured, I mean, poured down rain. Let's take a look and see how well it works. Okay, let's start right here by the driveway. Remember we put a solid pipe, the SDR35, from that green catch basin across to the sump pump. You can see this is working great. Even the old drain is working. However, if you look out here, this has got a gravel perforated French drain that leads over to this section. And you see that water just standing there. I actually used my shovel to help that water get into the new drain that we installed. And now it's starting to drain. So why is that water standing there? Why is it not draining if there's a French drain there? And it's picking up the subsurface water. You can actually hear it. You hear that gurgling sound? That is the French drain sucking water out of the ground. So he installed French drain all across his property from those catch basins all the way to the dry well, which we replaced. Why is there still water on top of the ground? You could hear it being pulled into the French drain. Um, why is there still water on top of the ground? It's basin. I'm just gonna, you can see a lot of uh, debris had washed, it was a good rain, washed down over top of the basin, but nothing gets in the basin. It just stays on the top with that grate. And if you look carefully, you can see that water flowing through the catch basin. Remember that's coming from, let's walk back again. It's a good distance. There is an acre of property here, a little over an acre, and this is all draining to that sump basin. But why is there water standing if there's French drain underneath of this, this ground? Why is the water still standing on the top? But you notice where the catch basins are, it's quite dry. It's because the water cannot get from the surface down into the French drain. It's really that simple. Remember how the system works. A French drain collects subsurface water. Catch basins collect surface water. That's why you need a catch basin. Yes, this water will eventually drain down into the system, but it'll sit here for a long time, perhaps days. Next, let's look at the sump pump and see how well it's performing. But yeah, what a great system. Um, you can hear the pump kicking off. It's gonna kick back on again here as it fills up. But yeah, if you're going to put in French drain and you have no gravity, the Zoller M98 is definitely the pump to put in. You can see that float coming up. I'm just going to let it run so you can see it. It's rising up, up, up. Pretty soon it's going to kick on. Any second. <laughs> there it goes. It kicked on. And we're pushing that water, um, I don't know, maybe 160 feet. Um, out to where it ties into his uh, downspout drain. I sh I'll show you that out front. But yeah, it's working great. So out here at his discharge, you can see that water just pouring out of there. And I mean, this has taken over an acre of water with a Zoller M98, half horsepower. It pretty much drained that acre in less than probably 20 minutes. So I'm glad I was here. I just happened to be over here watching a basketball game. Um, this is a Saturday afternoon late, and it just had a great big downpour. And, you know, great, we can show you how well a system works. Remember, there's over an acre of land here, and within about 20, 30 minutes, you know, it's basically dry. Um, I showed you that picture of the driveway uh, while it was raining. I mean, it was pouring. Um, I would say a good couple inches in less than an hour. So, hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.